Because this is such a big patch. This is a really big patch. Got to do this in consecutive series. Uh, this is probably a three or four part patch. So first thing I did earlier when I got here was to remove all the loose debris. And basically this whole chunk was missing where you see it dark. So the first part of it is to moisten it so that uh, the dry material doesn't draw out the moisture out of your uh, matrix. When you put the matrix in, you want to get a general shape of what you're doing to match the shape of the pre-existing contours. So with this here, you know, I'm going to shave it down a little bit and, and strike it just to get closer to the shape. However, because there's so much material to put on there, I'm going to leave it here today and then build on it tomorrow as it dries more. So this is a two-step two part right here that I did. This whole corner was missing up right here. So the first thing I did, the same thing, was remove all the loose material, fill it, strike it close to the shape of the original uh, casting. You, know, you can see there's a lot of cleanup still that has to be done. However, I kind of let it set and then I can go back over it and fill it in and what I want to do is uh, file it down, smooth it out, and get closer to the finished product. It will not be 100% perfect, like out of a casting. However, what we're trying to achieve is as close as possible to hide the damage and, and prevent it from further deteriorating. So I'm at a good stopping point today. So I'm just doing some striking here wherever it's kind of too fat so I want to get close to the original molding which is this round contour I'll do that tomorrow so you got a flat edge here you got a corner here then you got a contour which is very very hard to replicate and make it look like so here the striking material off a little bit of patience, slow process. If you try to rush it, you just get frustrated. And again, this is not, it's not going to look like an exact casting. However, it would certainly be a lot better than what it was. So let's take a look at this right here. And I got another corner to repair. I'll show you what this one looked like before I fix it. Come with me. So that corner that I repaired over there looked like this. And you start by removing loose material. Normally when we see something like this, we take one of these pieces, we take it to our manufacturer so that they can get as close to a color match as possible. From there we take the sample material and uh, we try to color match on site, do a little bit so that the customer can see what we're working on. And if they like the color, and obviously the texture is not going to be the same. 
However, the corner that I did over there that I was talking to you about was worse than this one because the whole corner was missing. I didn't even have this to work with. Like the whole corner was just chopped off. Like here. Loose material. You know, it's, it's, you can't work on it with all this loose material here. Take off all that loose material, so I'm prepping this for tomorrow. Taking off anything that's structurally loose, it's just gonna come off. So at least here I got some kind of shape to work with and fill in. On the other corner, I had nothing. We'll go from there. And this is uh, cast on repair. So here. You often see cast stone as a decorative piece with blue stone on patios or trimmings on the wall. So with cast stone, what we do first before we even attempt to repair is we clean the reduction with heat, proper pHs and cleaners, and a little bit of pressure washing to get it all clean. Now I'm doing the repair portion of it. After this repair portion and everything's said and that we like it, we're gonna clean it again. Then on a nice day when everything is secure and dry, we're going to seal this cast on and the blue stone to prevent uh, staining, microbial growth, algae, all the black and the green stuff you see normally. And I wish I had some to show you, but we've already cleaned this. So here, kind of here's, a, here's an example right here, this green, of what we clean off. Right under this ledge, there's a little bit of greenery. And that's what we clean off. And when you seal this, it's a lot easier to clean that off than if it's not sealed. Yeah, you just all you're doing is shaping it. You take them off, you wet it, and you smooth it out. <laughs> 